Hey guys, welcome back to Maxi's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making blueberry and lemon shortcake. Now this was so so delicious, I had it with a cup of tea and I really really enjoyed myself. Stay tuned for the full recipe. So here's a list of all the ingredients you need to make the shorts cake and here's a list of ingredients for the frosting and the toppings which is the blueberries and the lemon slices. So we'll start off by making our buttermilk. You just have to add the vinegar to the milk and then set it aside. While you, while you actually put that aside for the buttermilk to form, you would want to add your softened butter to a bowl and then mix that so you want to whip that until it's actually creamy. After the butter is well creamed, you would want to add your white sugar and then your brown sugar and then mix it again. You want to beat it until it's very creamy. Once you are done mixing the butter and the sugar together, mix your eggs in but make sure you add them one at a time so add the first one and then mix it in and then add the second one after and then mix that in until everything becomes very creamy So at this stage you want to mix all your dry ingredients together which is the baking powder, salt and flour. I sieved my flour twice so make sure you also sieve your flour and then mix everything together in a separate bowl. Now you are going to combine the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients in bits. So I did this in three batches. So I added um, the first batch to the butter mixture, folded that in very well, added the rest and then added the last batch. Once I was done with that, I added in my buttermilk that we made at the very start of this video and I also added in my lemon juice. Now guys, I used the hand mixer to actually mix everything together and I realized I overworked it. So if you want to stay safe and you don't want that to happen to you, please use the spatula to fold everything in instead of using a mixer because you don't want to over mix it. So now that we have our cake butter, we're going to add our blueberries. So I added, I put my blueberries in a bowl and added just a teaspoon of flour and, and mixed that in with the blueberries. Now this will help the blueberries not to sink to the very bottom of the um, short cake. So it would be evenly distributed in different parts of the cake. So as you can see, I'm just mixing that in, I'm just folding that in actually with a spatula. I'm reminding you guys again to please use a spatula when you're mixing the buttermilk and lemon in. Now I have two 6 inch round cake tins and that's what I'm going to be using. You can use an 8 inch cake tin but you might not get two um, different cakes. Okay, So now I cut the parchment paper and the size of the base of the tin put some oil on the base of both of them and then put the parchment paper in and I'm going to put my cake butter into both of the tips. So I think way I just eyeballed it but if you want everything to be very accurate just use a weighing scale to make sure that they have equal amounts in each of them. Now another thing we're going to do is put aluminium foil um, around the um, I don't know what to call it but we're going to um, coat the 
cover 13 with aluminium foil now what this is going to do is that it's going to help it bake evenly so the cake is going to be flat on top and that would help us when we're trying to frost the cake that will make things easier so this is a tip you guys need to learn the cakes are done baking and they look so so good now i just want to talk to you guys a bit about the toothpick test always make sure that you're inserting a toothpick at the thickest part of the cake and if it comes out clean the cake is done and please don't forget to always preheat your oven before you put your cakes in to bake now peeling the parchment paper off the bottom of the cake was so therapeutic and this looks so good. So I'm going to leave this to cool. I actually left it to cool um, overnight. I frosted it the next day. Now let's make the frosting of the cake which is the cream cheese frosting. Now I think I've said this in some of my recipe videos that I don't really measure out the ingredients for my cream cheese frosting. But I gave you, um, I still gave you like measurements for each of them. So it's just a rough estimate, okay. But I just eyeball everything and I just make sure that I get a certain consistency. So I just whipped in my softened cream cheese, added in the double cream, whipped that in. And then I only added about two to three teaspoons of um, sugar, icing sugar, because I do not like a lot of sugar. If you think you would want more sugar, please feel free to add as much as you want. And if you have some vanilla extracts or essence as well, please add some for flavor. So we're going to frost our cake now. I just put some of the frosting on the base of... Um, so this is the board I'm using. I just put some of the frosting on the board and then put the first cake at the very center now guys i forgot to talk about this but did you realize that when we took the cakes out they were wearing like they were flat okay so i didn't have to do any i didn't have to trim anything off anyways once i placed the cake at the very center i just put a dollop of the cream cheese frosting that we've just made on it and i'm just going to be very generous with the amount and yeah after this i'm just going to put the second cake on top At this point I'm just trying to cover the entire cake with the frosting and just bear in mind that I'm not a professional baker and I don't do this often so I'm not really good at it. I just try my best to make it look good. So once I cover the entire cake I put it back in the fridge to set and then I give it a second coating. So after the second coating I just put some blueberries at the very center of the cake and decorated it, it with some lemon wedges as well. First of all, I piped some of the extra cream cheese frosting that was left on top of the cake and then did the lemon wedges thing. This is when I was putting the lemon wedges in. Just very little, little um, wedges that I cut. And then made the cake look very, very pretty. Now once you're done with this, please try and put it in the fridge before you cut it, okay? Just so that the cream cheese stays intact for some for some time. So keep it in the fridge for some time. Take it out and serve. Serve it up with some tea. Call some friends over and have afternoon tea. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I'll catch you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Bye!